Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Borderlands 2. I always think I have to say it differently. When I say two, because I say two too many times. <laughs> Shouldn't you be dead one shot? I'm level nine or level twenty now. Come on now. Bam. <laughs> wow, he just doesn't exist anymore. So apparently giving still happen happens in Borderlands 2, it's just a rare occurrence. Why am I even searching this uh base? Or whatever this is. I guess we're heading towards the fridge. I was thinking about going back to Tundra Express to do that one mission for Lilith, but should we do that? Just to get it done so by the time we get back to Sex we can just turn it in. Let's yeah, let's do that. Let's just get her out of the way. Let's change the color here. Uh the Barney Mobile. Do you want your Barney Mobile? This is what everybody uses. Because Lily Lilith in a uh, bikini. <laughs> Some of these colors just look drab. Funky. Let's go to the top here. Let's see. We got some new. There we go. Let's turn to a racing truck. I love the way you ball timers just up and trusted Angel. <laughs> Never occurred to you that she was working for me, did it? I did the same thing to the last four Vault Hunters, but I'll, I'll be entirely honest. Tricking you guys this time? <laughs> Way funnier. Handsome Jack, you're a douchebag. That's why everybody loves you, though. That's why he was mentioned, or in pretty much. Well, he wasn't technically in the thir first game. Haha. <laughs> Hey man, we're getting covered up here. Hey. Okay. That's not bad. That's that grenade I got yesterday. Not bad. It does the job. Still can't beat that uh, stormfront though. That thing is is bad a bad a. Alright, let's go do this mission. What's that gun? I don't recognize that gun. It looks like slag. Alright. Quests. Mine, all mine. There we go. You know, I need to play this off camera for a bit and do a little bit of EXP farming. I feel a little underpowered for everything. I keep going. Thanks for the stretch. Reload speed, magazine size. Sell, sell, junk. Fight for your lifetime. Longbow Tesla. Try not to die. And uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and share, guys. I know I say that in every video. But nobody subscribes, nobody watches. Or there is some that watch, but most of my views, if somebody watches my videos, it's only for like seconds, you know. And I don't know who's doing that, but it's kind of a douchey move. Give my channel a chance, guys. Ha. What are you doing? Who needs a scope? You never need scopes. Scopes are for pansies. So, I'm running out of time on my, uh, our content, really, for, uh, Starbound. If you, so, if you've been watching Star, my Starbound Let's Play, I pretty much beat the game. There's a little bit left to do. Like, one of the things I haven't never done, even though it's been around for a little bit now, is those, uh, secret dungeons from, uh, 
there's like this hooded figure that after you beat the game he'll have the expression point where you have to find keys and then go to gates at different systems to go to this randomized dungeon or whatever I've never done that before ever even though I knew of its exist existence I just never done it kind of frightened me really because it seems like some of the because you have pros and cons when it comes to when you go in there in those secret dungeons like you can have double the jump distance oh, I didn't want to pick that up but it's like these like the uh, you get double jump distance or you get faster running speed or you do double damage stuff like that that's your your, your pros but your cons are like uh, well well you got that extra jump distance but all the ceilings are deadly or all the enemies explode on death you know stuff like that that stuff scared me I'm usually not that <laughs> I'm usually not that good at gaming I'm pretty like chillax if you will what's that called uh, for some reason I can't think of the name even though I said it the other day I'm a, like a type of player you know I'm not like hardcore I don't do speed running I am more I lean towards more of a completionist than anything else but I don't do everything some things are just too hard for me because I'm not, I'm not, I, I've been playing games for a long time, but I'm not that good at them, to be honest. In certain games, I've even worse at, but some games I'm really good at, so. For some reason, I can't think of the word. What is that word? I can't think of it. My mind is dead sometimes. Miners aren't mutated, so they aren't using the stuff themselves. Which means these guys are sending their rhythm somewhere. Kill them all and find out where. I have too many problems, that's what it is. Sometimes when I need to think of a word, I can't. If somebody asks me, like they do, like. I don't know what you call it. A, uh, if somebody says, hey, what is this band or this person's name in a movie even though I've seen the movie or man there's a bunch of those dudes kind of fight each other that's what I'm gonna do Ow. nobody come after me now but yeah they, they, like I was saying is that um I really have serious problem with words. Like, my dad used to, because my dad likes classic rock and whatnot, certain bands. And I've been listening to these bands because of my dad. Now that you've wiped out the rabble, go find the head miner. If anybody's got the info I need, it's him. I've been listening to these bands for a good portion of my life. I mean, a really good portion of my life. And I shouldn't know them by heart. But yet, if I get asked, what is the name of the the band or who is the lead singer or guitarist whatever even though I know it but when somebody asks I can't it just disappears out of my head and no no matter how hard I try it gives me a headache sometimes because I just cannot think of what it is and it's the same way with anything and I don't know why I do that no, it's weird it's kind of frustrating but you know, everybody else, you know, this happens to everybody. But it happens to me all the time. It's literally every day. Multiple times a day. I don't know if there's something wrong with me or whatever, but it really don't make no sense. Well, I'm waiting for that rat to come back so you can kill him. He just vanished. Like a fox. He vanished like a fox. God life, nice. Oh, that scares me. Scary. No. No. Uh 
what blew up? What was that? What was this? Another rocket launcher. Oh. 760 or 796 times 3. Not a Tito like that last one I got. Well, well, well. See, this is the one I got yesterday. It's electric. Okay. Wow, 10 size on the magazine. Wow. That's beastly. Let's give it a shot. Don't have a huge amount of rockets, but hey, oh gosh, that's twice now, guys. It's twice I picked up junk, a shield, and this. This is like what I call well, hello something that's there, purple. Loot. Well, why do I find all these all the time? In and out of my menu like crazy. 134 nasty rockets. Uh, I, every time I get a most of these uh, machine guns, they're literally always the same type. The rocket type, or whatever you call it. What is that? Oh, that sound is up there. Well, I got up a bunch of money. Only seven dollars. All that on the ground was only seven dollars. What? Well, if you make it this far in my videos, thank you for sticking around. I appreciate it. Try to tell the rest of the people to stick around longer too, instead of seconds. I even lost some of my loyal people. They're still subscribed, but I haven't seen them on my channel in a while. I had one guy that used to watch my stuff all the time. Literally every day, but he was going to school, so I think what it was is that he was just probably that time of year when he's really busy or something, which is cool, you know. My channel is not that important to take up base time, you know, especially if you got something important to do. That fire grenade. But if I if there's anybody watching my videos in this episode, whatnot, I'll pick that up in a minute. I welcome you to my channel. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you enjoy your stay. I'm uh, every day that I keep recording. I upload literally every day, and I'm constantly. You know, getting better at it all. I'm a, you gotta think that I was, when I did this and started YouTube, I was 100% new. Didn't know what I was doing or anything. Taught myself everything. Alright, let's pick up this voice recorder. The Hyperion Corporation wishes to offer you and your men $3,000 for every piece of Iridium delivered. No! A continuation quest. Yeah, I'm going back to get that red chest. How? Okay, so how is this happening? The conveyor belt is moving, but the rocks are not. Even this one's floating. What is going on here, man? That just looks weird. So I guess all this way back is means trash, right? I'd like to have a new shield that's something better than what I got. We're at uh, almost 400. It's not bad. Slide. 330. I 
I've never been up there. Well, I've never actually really tried. So Tiny Tina's got a mission for me. Yay. And then we're gonna go ahead for the refrigerator or the freezer or whatever it's called. The fridge. <laughs> this rocket launcher is not bad. I like the the speed that you can shoot it. It's got a high fire rate, and ten rounds in the ma uh, whatever you even call it. Is it a magazine clip? That thing on the bottom of this rocket launcher. That's what we're gonna call it. How much iridium got? Eleven. Okay. Getting close to one more upgrade, but I can't use it until I get back to Sanctuary, and that's going to be a little while. Really? Is this from yesterday? Where did this come from? I don't know how that, that that's impossible. Tell you shut off the game and come back, stuff disappears. How's that still there? I'm confused. Wait a sec, I'm going to get some ammo. Be careful with the rockets, uh, they are all more, way more expensive in the shop than most other ammo. Let's see, it's 334 apiece when everything else is like 20 something. Oh yeah, except for grenades. These are really expensive. Alright, there's the reward. Yo, 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 let's blow stuff up! Yes. Want to rob a train full of money? Sure. Oh, this grenade. I can't remember the name of it. But the, uh. I don't, I don't think that grenade's any good. It's like rain or something. Those miners you fought earlier were paid cash in exchange for iridium. Get to the station where their payroll train comes in, and we'll have ourselves a good old-fashioned train robbery. Oh, back to the Wild West. But I, yeah, but what I was saying earlier, I'm running out of content for Starbound. I don't have very much to show. I want to do a little bit of the mech stuff so I can show you guys the mech stuff. I'm not a fan of the mech stuff personally because I find the mech really very weak. It dies very quickly. The energy drains too fast. Because it, it, when you're in the mech, it drains constantly while you're... Bandits used this station to rob passing trains. You're going to have to use it to steal the bandits' payroll. Gotta love the irony. Use Tina's dynamite to blast the exit gate and block the tracks. But if I'm not going to get interrupted... Come on, game. You know I'm doing this for a show, right? Show for... Wow. No, no crits. Bro. <laughs> but I'm gonna get back to what I was saying. Is that I uh I'm running out of content and I end the uh the mech, I'm not a big fan of the mech. I'll, I'll do an episode where I'm like showing the little bits of stuff. I like the mech and whatnot. Dang. It was a hard head to hit. That sounds really bad. They're very accurate with grenades. If only I was ever that accurate with grenades. I know I keep getting cut off and not saying what I'm trying to say. Alright. But yeah, the mech in Starbound is very disappointing. I was looking forward to it when they announced it. You know, and then I played it and I was like, wow, this thing is weak. It dies very fast. And I know they probably did it to add... What was it? Uh, challenge or whatever? 
for a simulated difficulty, but at the same time, I know you can upgrade it with new parts, but I don't really know where to get most of those parts, to be honest. And, I think the parts actually come from the derelict spaceships or enemy spaceships, or those weird buoys that you see on this, the, the map. But it has a very low drop chance in chests or from enemies. Hey, guys. Who can't handle the truth? Get in that electricity field. All them blue numbers. Wow, that shot him right in, like, square in the forehead, and yet no critical. What is up? But, uh, I am running out of uh, content for Starbound, so I wanted to ask you guys. I got, um, my choice of games. I got Portal Knights. I just bought that recently on the computer. And I got it free on PS Plus. And... I got Minecraft, of course. I'm kind of missing Minecraft. I haven't played it in a very, very long time. Maybe they added some new stuff in there. So, I got Minecraft. I could do modded or non-modded. Either way. I got, um... Lego Worlds. I don't know if they've updated that game in a while, but... Lego Worlds is an option. Or, I can go back to Card Life. Dude, that was a lot of rounds. Ow. Ow. That's why I like the baby maker. It is powerful. If you shoot only one round out of there, oh, that thing can do some serious hurt. But yeah, I just wanted to ask you guys, what would you want me to play instead of Starbound? I might, uh, in the future, I might go back to Starbound, but mod it the next time around. Which actually sounds kind of fun, because I want to try that Fracking Universe and some other mods I've heard, like new mech mods. That would be cool. Hopefully it actually improves the mechs, makes them worth it. So yeah, just let me know in the comments down below if you do catch this side of uh, my video. About 24 minutes in, give or take. So yeah, just I, I want to hear from you guys. What would you want to see on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday after I'm done with Starbound? I would like to know. Why am I talking so much about Starbound when I'm like playing Borderlands 2? Come on now, let's play Borderlands 2. Alright, I gotta go over here and hit the switch. We're gonna rob us a train. That blows up that door that closes, where it forces the train to stop. Ah, uh, Jimmy Jenkins. I, I think you can actually meet this guy. Good. Randomly That'll in the leave world. the train nowhere to go. Now all you gotta do is signal Hyperion and make like you're ready to sell some Iridium. Train request received. Payroll train dispatched. I don't have very many rockets. I didn't. I don't think. I think I bought rockets once from the upgrade Iridium thing. Crazy Earl. Dynamite. Idea. Put the rest of Tina's explosives on those safes and watch the fireworks. Haha. <laughs> Money explosion.
How am I supposed to get that money? Distress signal received. Dispatching troops to payroll train number 627. Get back to Tina whenever you're done dealing with those Hyperion reinforcements. Good job, all of us. Say all that was only $91. <laughs> easy. Well, it's not easy to miss. Damn. I'm not. Uh, I like that rocket launcher. It's not bad. What's the most famous rocket launcher in Borderlands 2? It's the one you get from uh, one of the invincible bosses, which is like the big. Bug, whatever it's called. Never, I fought it only once and I failed. I can't do these bosses by myself. <laughs> they are hard. I know there's tricks and stuff to do to fight them. And I don't know those tricks because I don't go looking up all the. I just know they exist because of YouTube and other social media stuff, but at the same time, I don't actually look into it or read it or watch it. It just spoils it for me. Maybe I should, though. Like, how to fight... Was it Vermeerus? Or whatever it's called. I don't even know. The big bug. It's, uh, Barkids. That you... If it becomes a... A Super BA pod or something like that, and then it has a chance of becoming the... Vermeer... but I can't say the name. Vermeerus. <laughs> Vermi. I think that's the nickname for him. Yeah, I've had Vermi uh, spawn. Randomly. Here, actually. It was over there by that hut on the other side. Where those buzzards and whatnot is. And I failed. It killed me. I think I barely did anything to it. And it, like, stomped me or something. Why did I come over here? I need to go back to Tiny Tina. I forgot this mission actually ends on Tiny Tina, so you didn't have to go back to Sanctuary. I guess they, the developers planned that, it's because at this point in the game, most likely you would have Sanctuary not there no more. Makes sense. It surely makes sense. See, if you play the if you play the pre sequel, right? The the H or the Hyperion space base is not that close to the moon. It's close, but it's not so close to the point that it looks like this. But you are on Elpis because that moon's called Elpis, and uh, that's where that game takes place is on that moon. So maybe just the point of view. I guess that's. That explains it then. I guess because you're on that planet, the moon itself, the point of view is different. But it just doesn't seem it's that. It, it doesn't look like it's that close. And here it looks like it's like almost touching it. The forever shield. We're gonna have the crazy eye again. Yep. She had the crazy eye. When you made it rain, I was and she just like, sunk into the floor. Corrosive bus truck Hey, 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 ball hunter. What? Yeah, well, I tried this grenade, but it's not as good as it may seem. It basically, it's a, uh, it shoots out a bunch of child grenades, but and it has corrosive damage, but it's it's kind of like a rain, but it's not that good. I don't know how to explain that. I'm going to always put it on and show you. But I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not going to worry about slag as much. Yeah, I'll go ahead and sell that one and this junk. I'll keep the other rocket launcher because it's not bad. Alright. Let's equip that grenade and I'll show you. Explosive rain or whatever. Tesla's a really good grenade, by the way. So. Alright. Let's head out here. Let's throw this puppy. So it just throws it. But instead of... Uh, tra not transfusion grenade. What's this called? The ones that have the child grenades. 
Well, instead of like throwing the grenade and it lands and it explodes into a whole bunch of child grenades from a single unit, it you throw it like that. See, it just falls apart instantly. That's just, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go refill my grenades. I need to get a new storm front. I want something more powerful. Now we're gonna make our way to the fridge, I think. Best that we can. There it is, the Merv. For see, I told you I can't think of certain words when I need to. But uh, yeah, that rain grenade is pretty much a Merv. But instead, it's like as a single unit on the ground, like a regular grenade, and then it has like a fuse and it'll explode into child grenades, it does it from your hand. That's, that's pretty much the gimmick of that one. Might be pretty good against the robots though, because it is corrosive. Got armor targets. All right, I guess we're gonna be heading that way then. All right guys, well, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna meet you back at the door that leads to the fridge. All right guys, I'm back. You'll be able to reconnect with your friends after you get through the fridge. Now I notice there's a quest back there at the Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> well, the Happy Pig. There's a quest back there. Might have to look into that next episode. Well, let's head to the fridge. Gotta be careful with that grenade. Seems like this grenade likes to kill me too. Say it has zero fuse time. How'd that hit me? I was far enough away. Come on now. That was a cheap hit, go that was a, just a cheap hit. What was I even trying to say? Gerd. Whatever. I can't speak anymore. And I was thinking I, I was thinking about it on my way here. I was like, yeah, it seems like my memory's getting worse and worse every day. Maybe I got, you know. Bad things coming my way. I am getting older. I'm an old gamer. I came from the days of Atari and, and NES and all those days. And the 16-bit wars. Ah, physics is fun to mess with. But yeah, the 16-bit wars against Sega and uh, Nintendo. Man, those were the days. Seeing those commercials for those companies, that was something to that was something to behold. Then Nintendo ragging on Sega and Sega ragging on Nintendo. Man. You guys nowadays wouldn't experience that. You can only you could you could still experience it somewhat. You can just watch it on YouTube or whatever, but or look it up, but. Man, being there for it was something else. We are not friends anymore. Son of a witch. Dang it. The door's iced over. Let me help you with that. Why does it stop the what she's saying when you turn in the deal? I don't understand. It happens a lot. I don't think I've ever heard her finish that sentence. Yeah, literally, I don't think I've ever heard her finish that sentence about the, we are not friends anymore. That's all I ever hear, because I keep forgetting that it cuts it off every time you click the uh, mouse again. Or the action button. On a controller. Team fire rate. Well. But look at that health drop. Is it worth it, though?
Hmm. Now I'm thinking about it. What is my capacity again? 608. It's almost getting closer to doubled my amount. Yeah. We'll try it. What was a spike shield? Dang it, did I just waste that $2,000? Because everything on here is better than what I got. Increases max health. But that's lower. Well, it's just barely above mine. Actually, my 608, why is that green? That one's definitely higher. And the other one's pretty much doubled my uh, capacity. I just don't like turtle shields because it destroys your health. Oh, it's only five something? Oh, because of BA rank. This. That's probably what's causing it. Alright, so we're getting close to the end of this episode. What I'm going to do is probably do one round of this. I can't remember the level of it, though. What level Scott, is? I got that. You need that. 118 times 13. 118 times 13. Hmm. This is a triple barrel. It's not too bad. Grenade damage, explosive damage resist. Round one, level twenty at level round one. Wow. Now I think you gotta fight rats. There's a lot of rats in here. Uh, trap chest. Always trap chest. Let's see if we can do at least one round, and then we'll end the episode. I don't know, we didn't, oh, we got some, you know, that one quest done. Explored a bit. Talked. Explaining things. Oh, yeah, I gotta hit the switch. It's up top. Up top. I haven't been in this uh, arena in a while. Now, there's a Borderlands symbol somewhere over here. I think there's multiples of it, like two of them, but I don't know what the other one is. There it is. One challenge down. Oh, no, nope, never mind. That was all of it. Okay, cool. Thought there was at least one more. Alright, here we go. Oh, he's got slag. That's not good. Why does my shotgun seem to be shooting the wrong way? Tell my fire seems to be going the other way. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Casual. That's that word I was thinking earlier. I'm a casual player. But like I did say earlier, that I'm more close to the... Uh, Completion this thing. Try to wait for my slag to go down. Dude. Wow. The shotgun does not shoot where it's when I'm pointing. Alright. Do I need any of this? Yes. Always save your ammo boxes. Come on. Of course, something else shooting at me from behind or something. And they move right when you look at them. They fly across the map. Well, I'm pretty much dead first round. That's not good. Maybe I shouldn't be using a sniper rifle, right? 
That shotgun's not so great right now. How'd you hit me? I wasn't even close to you, dude. Two for a little bit, well, two for two. That reminds me of uh, Wind Waker. Sploosh. How are you? I don't know. How are you? <laughs> this is still alive. If you're careful with it, you can get this guy to do all the work for you. considered a cuss word nowadays. What if I wanted to say Master Sword? That's not a cuss word, is it? Man, my health. Man. Got him. I get that notch in the shield. I can't for some reason. Wow, really game? What a beast move. Crucip? No, I don't mind a crucip but... I'll be higher level, so. <laughs> I told you about them grenades, man. Those Teslas, they're awesome. You're at the midpoint! You're at the halfway point! Whatever you say. That's extra health for me. I uh, don't mind that. What level is level yeah. this? A little bit more powerful than mine. But yeah, if you do this early on, you get the extra loot from these dudes. Maybe it's a little boost in your weapons if you're lucky enough. Be careful guys, there's an angry dude down there. Just for you. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> oh, oh, this guy's uh, corrosive. I think the corrosive one's going to win. Because he has an element. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's two corrosive ones. <laughs> nope, you're being safe for everybody else. Get off me, man. Jeez. You try freezing to your first ones. You sound like you say that all the time. No, you need to try it. Oh, I hear rats. Is it those one rats that steal your money? I think so. I can't actually remember the name of those rats. These, no? No, the midget ones. I don't know the ones. I don't want to shoot you because I'm going to save you for the glide. Quit. Quit, man. Just quit.
ultimate. Am I going to have any more spawns? Yeah, thank you. I was like, is it going to actually spawn any more enemies for me? Can you do it, man? Don't come after me, dude. Seriously. And then jump on a push space button. I tried to jump over those guys, but he just stopped instead of jumping. There, I'm hiding. <laughs> Have them do the work for me. There's a BA over there, so I gotta be careful of that. Oh, no, I'm following you. There you go, fight him. He's almost dead, really? That BA is worse than an ultimate BA? I guess he's dead. Wow. Of course, of course. Go after that guy. Not me. And all you do is non stop keep it. Oh, I'm dead. I am dead. Well. I didn't want to take him out, but oh well. Stuff happens. I was hoping to keep him as long uh, alive as long as possible. Ooh, a new shotty. The girls are happy. Everything else is red arrows, though, so that's what I'm worried about. A lot of red arrows. Oh man, not those dudes. Lab rats. Grenade! I don't like the lab rats, they are pretty bad. Oh jeez. Set you on fire. Now, these guys right here can be really dangerous. Because that eye laser, that stuff is real nasty. And I'm dead. And he's too far away for me to kill. Great. Well, that's a fail. big fail. One enemy left in the entire arena and I died. All because of a lab rat that when he starts his laser, you can't get away from it. So you stay away from those lab, lab rats. They are bad. Alright, we can just try that next time. I'm out of time on this video. Alright guys, well... You got to see me fail the arena because of one enemy. Yay! Cheers, cheers all around. Alright, well, if you'd like to become part of the Meerkat Nation, hit that subscribe button and join today. And if you like my commentary, find it funny, helpful, or entertaining. Or if you didn't, still uh, subscribe and like my videos to support my channel. It gives me the incentive to want to continue, and I'm still practicing and learning. So as I'm only getting better. And yeah, next to that uh, subscribe button you'll see a a bell icon appear. You hit that bell icon, you'll be notified of all my videos I upload daily. So you'll see there's always something new for you guys. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.